Good morning. Thank you all for being here and welcome to Nashville. My name is Jim Snell and I am the Executive Director of Volunteer Tennessee and we are very happy to be hosting the conference today. Uh, and um, uh, probably most of you know what state service commissions are, but uh, every state has one and they're governor appointed citizens who oversee the miracle programs within that state in addition to doing lots of other things related to volunteerism and service uh, and, and in just a second i'll ask different groups of people to stand up so we can see who's in the in the audience uh, but thanks for being here and before i talk about other things i just want to say that we had originally planned this conference to be for about 80 people back when <laughs> first the original plans back you know three six months ago and right now we have, um, our last registration was at about 245 and we were expecting a couple people to register on site. So we'll, we'll probably be over 250. So um, thank you all for participating, but we'll ask your understanding if maybe the rooms are really packed in tight and you have a really good opportunity to get close to some of your people that you have maybe never met before. Um, and, um, and we also, um, Thank you for understanding when the hotel block ran out fairly quickly and you maybe had to find a hotel somewhere that wasn't right here. Although probably some of you were able to get a hotel that's right downtown and you can go to the Honky Tonks later on tonight and then get to the hotel. Don't go to the Honky Tonks. It's not sanctioned. Um, okay, so, um, so anyway, thank you for, for your understanding with, with all of those challenges. Um, and another just general housekeeping item, we are currently in the Crown Ballroom. And the way Stephanie helped me remember it is, you know, the Crown is on top and we're on top of the building here. Nice view of Nashville. The Grand Ballroom is the one that's downstairs in the conference center. So just as you're looking at the agenda, all of the plenary sessions will be in this room, so our lunches and breakfasts and all that stuff. Uh, and we will also have workshops in this room as well. So just so you know that difference. Uh, I'd, I'd like to now thank uh, the main partners in putting this conference on. Of course, the, the major partner is the Corporation for National Community Service, and they uh, provided funding not only for this conference, but for other conferences around the, the country to bring together uh, national service folks. And then our other major partner was the America State Service Commissions, and they were instrumental in helping to do the planning and, and providing staff support to make sure that, that everything uh, works well over the next couple of days. I'd also like to give a, give a very special thanks to all, all of our planning group members. And we had several different planning groups that worked on different things, the agenda and hospitality and, and that kind of thing. So could I ask anybody who served on one of those planning groups, would you mind standing just for a second so we can recognize you? They, they all did a great job and I think every, everybody will be particularly pleased by the hospitality group because they managed to get tons of door prizes. So your chances of winning are, are fairly good. As long as you stick around, you, you'll have to be here in order, while we're drawing the names in order to get something. Um, I'd also like to give a special thanks to the corporation's state office staff, the director Michael Laverty, and then uh, Mark Gage and Robin Corindo. Can the three of you Kind of wave, wave your hands. Um, also very, very instrumental in making sure that we were successful today. And then uh, a big special thanks to the area manager, uh, Daryl James, for making sure that, wave your hand, Daryl. Um, for working hard over the last couple months to make sure that this, this conference went well. So thank you to, to all of you. Um, so. Why, why are we here? Why are we doing a conference? Um, obviously, one big thing is the stuff that's going to happen in the sessions. The, there are learning objectives and we have particular sessions related to performance measures and, and background checks and 
grants management and the corporation and commission staff and the state office staff want to make sure that people are coming away from this conference with those uh, those learning objectives and understand those things uh, but beyond that this uh, national service conference gives us the opportunity to get together to network with folks from from within our own states and across states and to do uh, to do cross streaming so we've got AmeriCorps folks in the room and senior Corps folks in the room and we know that we don't always have the time in our, our busy daily lives to pick up the phone and call the uh, the senior Corps program that's right down the road or call the AmeriCorps program that's right down the road and so this is this is an opportunity to have that time to, to chat with those people and to have those informal conversations about how you can collaborate and work together. And then a, another big thing that we hope you'll get out of this is the opportunity to share your, ser your stories of service, uh, what your program is actually doing and the difference that your uh, national service participants are making in your local communities. So we hope that you'll, you'll get a lot out of the, the informal part of the, the conference in addition to the, the formal uh, learning that we hope that you'll get out of it. Uh, so what I'd like to do now is just take a second to give you all a sense of who's here. So the senior core folks, which includes foster grandparents, senior companions, and um, uh, retired senior volunteer program, RSVP, would you all mind standing? <laughs> Yay, Senior Corps is definitely representing. So now, so AmeriCorps. So if you are uh, AmeriCorps State or National or AmeriCorps Interval C, and I'm not, we may have one or two Vista folks in the room, but if you're if you were, are with AmeriCorps, if you'll stand. And as I mentioned, each state has a state commission that uh, has citizen board members appointed by the governor to, uh, in addition to overseeing AmeriCorps within that state, doing lots of other things related to volunteerism. So will all the commission staff that are in the room, will you mind standing? And then finally, uh, I was speaking with someone earlier a lot of times when we have conferences that are national service related, we don't always get the opportunity to have corporation staff because of just limits on their travel budget. But I think we, we are very fortunate at this conference to have quite a few corporation staff members here. So if you are, are a corporation staff member, would you stand? And I believe we have a couple more who are downstairs getting ready for sessions as well. So thank you, Corporation Staff. So thanks everyone for, for being here. Um, and before I get on to uh, introducing Wendy, I'd just like to say a few things about uh, one of our other partners, uh, America's State Service Commissions. Uh, just briefly, uh, as I mentioned earlier, there are five of these conferences happening around the country and ASK is, is helping um, uh, to organize all of those. And you may not be familiar with the role of ASK, but they essentially provide a voice for, uh, for national service at the national level. And uh, they, it's a membership organization, and, and most of the state commissions are members, but they also have opportunities for uh, individuals to be members and then other non-state commissions to be, to be members as well. And uh, you can go to their website, which is uh, www.statecommissions.org, and, and read more about them and what they do. And I, I think that their, their goal in the future is to uh, branch out and go beyond just kind of state commissions and engage other, uh, other members of national service in what they do so that they can make sure that they're providing a, a good comprehensive voice for national service at the, the national level. So, again, thanks to ASK for, for helping us out with the conference. So, uh, now I'd like to introduce our keynote speaker. 
uh, Wendy Spencer, and probably a lot of you know Wendy because she is um, the first CEO of the Corporation for National and Community Service to come actually from the field of national service. So, uh, yeah. uh, so Wendy began her duties as uh, Chief Executive Officer for the Corporation uh, on April 9, 2012, so a little over a year ago. Uh, shortly after her nomination was unanimously confirmed by the Senate, and she has a proven track record of over 30 years of volunteer management and administration, and um, as I mentioned, prior to going to the corporation, Wendy served eight years as the CEO of the Florida Governor's Commission on Volunteerism, which is commonly known as Volunteer Florida, and that's the, the state commission in Florida. And as the, as the leader of that bipartisan governor-appointed commission, Wendy, Wendy managed between $18 million and $23 million in federal, state, and local grants each year. And they did tons of work related to disaster response, as you might imagine. Uh, and so they had several hurricane seasons that were record-setting seasons. And in, uh, in two of those, they co coordinated more than $85 million worth of funding and donations and more than 252,000 volunteers, which was the largest mobiliz mobilization of volunteers at the time. So really impressive stuff that they were doing down in Florida. And Wendy received the prestigious 2005 Governor's Award from Governor Jeb Bush for her leadership on those efforts. Wendy has been recognized nationwide for her leadership in the volunteer sector. And in 2006, she was um, appointed by President George W. Bush to the President's Council on Service and Civic Participation. And in 2010, she was elected by her peers to chair the America's uh, Association of State Service Commissions, which we just were talking about. And um, uh, before joining Volunteer uh, Florida, she served as the director of Florida State Parks. And so, uh, and, and at, at the state parks, they had um, 158 state parks, which spanned 600,000 acres, so a pretty, pretty large park system. And those of you who are familiar with park systems know that they utilize a lot of volunteers and couldn't do what they do without, uh, without volunteers. So if you will join me in giving a big hand to Wendy Spencer, we're very pleased to have her here. What I do when I stand in front of a group is I take a photo of you. So everybody wave so we can tweet this. There we go. I've got it. Get it over here. Here we go. Love that. All right, we'll put this up on Twitter too. All right, now I want y'all to follow me on Twitter as well. But right, everybody's doing that, right? Because that's the new thing to do. Oh, it's great. And right, I'm going to see if I can adjust this down so I'm not like looking at it instead of. And there we go. Here we go. How is everyone? This is super. It's great to be in Nashville, right? So I, lo I love traveling across the country, and I love being in the South, because now that I'm in the South, no one thinks I talk funny. <laughs> because, if, you know, I didn't know that I spoke differently until I was speaking in front of a group of about 200 school children with the Secretary of Education, Artie Duncan, and we were reading books uh, to children, and after we got through, he asked the children if they would like to ask questions of the book readers, of the celebrity book readers. And uh, one little girl raised her hand and says, yes, I'd like to know where you're from. And she pointed to me and I said, well, I've just moved here to Washington, D.C. from another community. Do you think I speak differently? The whole entire 200 kindergartners all yelled in unison, yes! <laughs> and one little girl screamed out, you sound like a cowgirl. <laughs> Arnie Duncan, I said, I'm never doing another speaking engagement again. But it is good because when I'm in Chicago, you know, they don't know, or New York, they don't know that a possum is a flat animal that sleeps in the middle of the road. We, we know this, but they do not know that. They do not know that fixing to is a real word, and it's one word. They don't know that the, there are four seasons, uh, almost summer, summer, still summer, and Christmas. They don't know that, these things, so I feel like I'm at home with my people, so I love that. 
Uh, Jim, thank you so much for including me. Uh, Tom Brandon and Rachel, what a great job you all have done uh, to help get this put this together. It's great, Daryl, Michael Laverty's here. I got my, my peeps with CNCS are here. And also my, some of my former colleagues as I was serving with state commissions and I, so I, re I really do feel right at home.